Pickleball is the fastest growing sport in America. And let me tell you from personal experience, it is a whole lot of fun. This afternoon, Johnson City will unveil the new pickleball courts at the Memorial Park Community Center. Here to tell us more about pickleball is Deb Fogel and Carol Huey. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. And, and Deb, you introduced Amy and I over there to pickleball. <laughs> we, we had so much fun we playing did. over there. That was a lot of fun. But the fastest growing sport. Mm -hmm. This. Uh, for folks that may not be familiar with pickleball, kind of kind of give us a description of pickleball. Well, pickleball is sort of a combination of badminton, ping pong, and um, um, what's tennis. the other one? Tennis. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, but it's played with a smaller paddle. Right. And a, like a wiffle ball. Right. And it's played on a smaller court than a tennis court. And it's grown so much even for us that we are converting, we have converted, our tennis courts to 12 pickleball courts, which we will have a ribbon cutting this afternoon at 530. And we'd like to invite everybody there to, if you don't know what pickleball is, you're going to have an opportunity to uh, see an exhibition right. match played. And then Carol is going to be offering a clinic on pickleball this afternoon after that ribbon cutting. Yeah. Where do you see most of your pickleball players coming from? Are they coming from the tennis side of things? Are they other athletes or just people that just want to get out and do something? That's a great question. You know, well, a lot, obviously a lot of tennis players are getting into it and you're seeing mm -hmm. more so now. Um, but that's the cool thing about pickleball is that you don't have to have a tennis experience. Right. I've had people come, you know, from softball, from golf. And what's great about that is you can take something from their sport, right? right and utilize that knowledge that they have of that sport and try to implement that into the pickleball game. And, and pickleball's really for all ages, too. Absolutely, oh, yeah. yeah. And we want to grow pickleball for all ages. Right. We're seeing yeah. it. I'm seeing younger adults starting, even children. Uh, we have um, children that are coming into the center, and mm -hmm. we're going to be offering some things for families for pickleball in the upcoming months. And so uh, we want it to grow, and we think it will grow. And, and all the way from those children up to our seniors as well, because the Senior Citizen Center down there, they're actively involved in it as well. Oh, we have yeah. some folks in their 80s and 90s playing pickleball. I love that. I love that. I love it. Yeah. It's a family sport. I mean, you can get mm -hmm. the family out and go play if you that's, wanted to. That's well, that's true. And there's that, not a big, big monetary, you know, that a lot of sports you get into, you have to put a lot of money up front. Really not a lot of money up no. front here. And that's really the purpose, uh, its original purpose. Yes. You know, it was invented way back in 65, actually. A gentleman in Washington State wanted something to do with their family. Right. And uh, so he put this game together with the objective of making a family event, right? And so that's the nice thing about it. it you don't have to have tennis experience or anything like that. Anybody, any age can come out and play. And it's just catching on like wildfire. And are the rules easy to understand for most folks? Ah. The, the hardest part of pickleball. <laughs> the hardest part of pickleball is the scoring. Okay. Um, yeah. Once you get the scoring down, then it becomes a lot more. But we tell people up front that that's going to be your hardest task. It's because it's entirely different from tennis. It's entirely different from badminton. So that is the most difficult part. But you get through that, and then once you do, then. It's smooth sailing. Just go out and have fun. That's the key is you right. want to have fun and be active. And I know yeah. that you could go, you, you play for fun. You could play for, you know, in leagues and things. You could also get to the where you can be a professional if you want to. At pickleball. Absolutely. And so, yeah. so the sky's the limit with this sport, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. becomes very addictive. <laughs> I can very see that. Addictive. That term is used that. a lot in yes. this sport. Yeah, and, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that besides the, the competitive aspect of it, yes. there's a huge social right. part of it. Right. And you could be fierce competitors on the court in the morning and then go out to dinner at night with your friends. Shake hands and go get something to eat. Yeah. Yep. All right. Ladies, thank you all so much for thank coming Thank you for by. having us. Right. Got that big event thank coming up so this much. afternoon. It's right down here at Memorial Park Community Center. We'll be dedicating those brand new pickleball courts down there. It's located at 510 Birch Street here in Johnson City. If you want to find out more, give that number a call or check out the website right there on the screen.